Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with you with uh, another video that I've been promising you. Now, uh, just in case some of you out there have just stumbled across this video on YouTube search, then uh, basically what we're testing is the Gigabyte UD9, then I've got four Zotac GTX 480s, uh, processor wise I've got a 980X, um, and then uh, I've got a couple of power supplies, I've got a Corsair AX1200 and a TX650, and then 6GB of Corsair Dominator GT RAM. Now what I will be doing is running a uh, stock cards with a 3.6GHz processor, so the uh, what I'll call the stock run, because if you've got a 980 you're not going to be running four of these cards um, uh, with do you know what I mean, a stock CPU. But uh, processor wise, it'll be a 180 base clock uh, times 10 um, on the memory. So <laughs> I was having a blank down. Times 10 on the memory for uh, uh, 1800 on the memory. And then uh, it'll be times 20 for the uh, CPU multiplier, making a 3600 megahertz CPU. Cards of stock, and then uh, for the overclock run. Um, I did find with the, the UD9 that it didn't like high base clock with all four cards in and overclocked. Um, it wasn't a voltage thing, it just seemed to, as soon as you had all four cards clocked and everything, it, the board just seemed to go wibble. I tried uh, loads of different things, voltages here, voltages there, stabilising this, it wasn't having any of it. But I ended up manage, managing to get a 176 base, again with 10 times on the memory for one, uh, 1760. Uh, 25 multiplier making a 4.4 gigahertz on the CPU. Uh, just for anyone that was uh, wanting to know out there, that was with 1.425 um, on the V core, uh, with a bit of droop, it was reading something like 1.41 on CPU Z. Um, and then the graphics cards, I've had to write it down because uh, I'm not a robot. Uh, it was 837 on the cores of the GPUs. Uh, that was kept linked, so the shaders were 1,673, um, and then it was a uh, simple uh, 1,000 or 2,000, however you wanted to look at it on the um, memory. So, yes, what I'm going to do is I'm, uh, you can see at the moment, I'm set up for the, uh, the stock run, so I'm going to shut up, and then what I'll do is I'll show you the stock runs, and then it will go straight into a uh, overclocked run, and then I'll come back and wrap up at the end.
Right. There we go, guys. There's the score for the stock run. Just to show you quickly, that's my CPU temperatures. And if we move down, you can see the graphics card temperatures as well. And I want to whip over here quick because I put my thermometer by the exhaust of the cards. And uh, although that's not going to be 100% accurate, that gives you a rough idea of what's been going on in the back of the cards. That's 40 degrees coming out of the back, that's obviously air temperature. Um, and that is very, very warm to the touch. Uh, obviously the room temperature in here at the moment, when that eventually uh, adjusts again, the room temperature in here was 20 degrees before. This temperature here is for the temperature of my... Um, uh, the front room at the moment because it is really warm in the UK at the moment um, but I've had the air conditioner on and I chilled the room down to 18 degrees and just before I run this test uh, it was about 20 degrees 